Here we go. Honey, wow, or honey salad. Man. How about yes? Probably the inner. No, because I got to take the shim off. Oh my gosh, they are full all the way to the top. Definitely have to put the. they filled this with comb. Sugar pot. They have filled this with comb, y'all. I say when they start filling with comb, it is time to remove and add them something to actually build comb on. Oh, God, that's going to be... You have to really... There. Yeah. Oh, well... It's, they're filling it with comb, though. For sure. <laughs> That's it. Oh, there's eggs in it. Larva in it, too. Queen honey. Why, girl? Why? Now I gotta make sure she's, she's not up, up here. That shows that she needs. Yeah. I knew she was going to need to be split. Um, this is the hive that I'm worried. Here, let me step around here. This is the hive that I'm worried is going to swarm on me. Because these are going to be nurse bees and they can't fly. wonky plus sign they made. Yeah, your arm is Oh, shoot. They're going to have to help me. Yeah. I think both of my own oh, crud. Mm. Yeah. So the gate. They all ran into my hand. Like, what the hay? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna make certain plants are just on here anywhere. It's crazy, I was just in this hive on the, what, two weeks ago? Yeah. To, to check the sugar? I think it was like February, well, maybe more than two weeks now. Is it really going on a month now, I guess? Maybe. Not quite, it was like February 10th, I think. There you go. Now they're starting to go up. You need to come, come mm -hmm. from this and march back in. Easy pulling this through that comb.
Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Check the bottom for me. I love how, oh my gosh, this hive is packed. Look at all these bees. Look down through there, seam after seam of yeah. bees. All right, girls, all of that's going bye-bye. Can you grab the red bucket so I have, can throw it in? You don't ever want to throw comb down. It's just begging for pests. Plus, you can boil this down and, yep, collect the wax, save the wax kind of nasty thing about it, but that's, you clean out the, the icky part. All right, let's pop and move. You don't want to keep them open too long or they're going to get too cold. And I have a feeling that this is going to be the same horror scene. This one down and that one. This one down and then that one so I can start at the bottom and work up. Figure this is going to be the same horror scene as honey flowers with drone brood. I think this box is pretty loose. Mm -hmm. Just take it to the cart. There you go. Yep. See? Drone brood. Called it. nothing in these two phones again. They're all over here and then up into that. Alright, let's check. Smoke me while I'm trying to fix this camera. Cause... last year. They have not worked on these two at all. So I'm actually going to try something. I'm going to shift everything over by one put it in and put one, no, put one empty frame on that outside yeah. and one empty frame on this outside. Because we got like three, basically, two and a half empty frames here. The thing is, they ain't got the wire all jumped up, propolized or anything like that. Seems like I got a pretty hygienic line of bees. I mean, bees are pretty hygienic on their own anyways, but I've seen others where they're like nasty trashed. Alright, this is a frame that's comb. Trying to see eggs. I got black foundations coming. Those are gonna be so much easier for spotting the eggs. Can't tell. I got comb. That's all I can tell. three boxes are full of bees though. 
nectar, pollen. So this is a this is a food source frame. try to do much for burr cone cleanup, but when it's like in between like that, it needs to be done. So we've got larva, eggs, in here, and pollen. So this is the brood frame. Got some cat here. The nectar dripping out. Larva, cat, larva, out to eggs, so definitely be watching for honey as we go. There's a drone. This hive already has a few drones in it. I did not see a single non larva drone in honey flowers, though. So I think I'm going to use hers as the typical because honey flower has always been a little non typical overzealous remember we already did overzealous queen video with honey here before that's why she ended up going into winter with three boxes capped brood there's some drone there's a drone walking around right there so that's the second drone i've seen pollen around the edges More brood, more pollen, looking good. So that's two frames with brood. In about three weeks, those are going to be, well, those are capped, so in about a week, those capped brood are going to be from egg to maturity, hatching, not maturity, because they still mature as they're out walking around. They've got different tasks they do as they mature. Um, yeah, let's smoke just in there. There's smoke. It's just very light. There we go. cap brood. All of these poking up right here, these are drone. This is all drone right here. So they're going to be exploding with some drone here. Look at the red and yellow pollen pants right there. Do you see those? Right here. Do not see queen honey walking around anywhere, but we sh got three boxes. As long as I see signs of a queen laying, I don't have to see the queen. So that was brood. I totally lost track of how many brood. Three. three. Six. Empty food, brood, brood. Yeah, three. Smoker always gets my nose running. This is a food frame, it's all pollen. Three frames of brood on the lower, pollen and nectar. I still have to go in here and keep going because I got to get to that trap and fix it. And I'm going to shift one of them brink 
blank frames to this outer wall here. Some support over here on this side. Oh, so this is a food frame, nectar, pollen, working on some front, uh, comb there. David, seriously. They get a little agitated on this one. This is also like their their pathway coming up from the entrance. All right, so they're working on some comb over here. This one we need to take this. I have one clean one left, but we've got more on some of these other boxes too. It doesn't have to be perfect clear. They haven't gelled that one up with newspaper, have they? That one up right below the, not enough space yet. Uh, right below the um, shim was full of newspaper. want to make certain because I monitor and pull these. All right, where's that? Thank you. I'm just going to put it right back here. Press it down in here and the bees will corral. All right, new box. Small one or the? No, the next box put on. We can put the Alright, box two. 
through. Let's see what we got here. Got a little bit of honey, a little bit of nectar, got a whole lot of space that they can fill comb out in. Why are you not putting comb there? Sorry. <laughs> Queen's not on there, I don't believe. I hope not. Ooh, this one's heavy. This one's got to be honey. Oh yeah, honey, honey, honey. Honey. Nectar that they've brought in probably from that feeder over there, which they probably have empty by now. I need to go check it. There's a drone. Another drone. There's another one. Of course, you are likely to see the drones a whole heck of a lot on the honey frames. Why? Because that's all they do is come in and eat. They're like teenage guys. Or college guys. Let's just make, make them more college guys because eat and mate the queen is about all they do. Propolis seal. Oh, gimme bee. Oh. They stuffed this one with this back up. Yeah, I try to keep them in the boxes so that they have different places to wrangle the... What do we got here? Queen cup. Let's make certain there's nothing in it. Mm, nope, it's dry. Dry queen cup. Got honey. Pollen. See eggs. Eggs. You got a dry queen cup right there. I got a bee on my hand. Get off. No, don't blow. Yeah. So here's the start of a brood frame. So we got a food frame, a brood frame, an empty frame. Yeah, y'all, this is one of the major cleanup and check everything inspections. Just wait until we go and split y'all. Y'all will go into this one. I'm planning on splitting into at least two nukes. And this box here, uh, the cloud hive is going to become its own hive. And we're going to use the comb hive box off from Honeyflower. And it's going to become its own hive. So there's going to be like four new hives, four new queens reared off from this if not more in our pond how things go oh sorry I didn't want to come up okay cap brood pull that off. yes pull it off please larva drone 
good. We haven't destroyed all the drone. Look at the little hanging. I can turn this around here. Uh, hold on. Let me finish looking at this. Drone, drone. Just making certain there's no queen. There's something on the other side there that I gotta look. I saw a glimpse of. No, even a drone walking here. Kept worker brood galore. So this is our second brood. Lots of drone cells capped off. I'm trying to make certain there's no queen cups. I thought I saw one on this side. I don't see where I saw it at. Oh, there it is. It's dry. They like to put queen caps, cups. I don't care. It's got eggs all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. So, looking good. It's kind of nice that I just had 100% through winter on my hives. Went into winter with two hives and I've come out of winter with two hives. A lot of places, especially when they have way more hives, that's not their statistics at all. They have a tendency to not have quite a few over winter. Which over winter means come through the winter, survive through the winter. Um, right, whatever. I know girls, you're getting agitated and I wanna get done too. I don't like ag aggravating you and I don't wanna get stung. just go no you're not reaching in there <laughs> sorry girls but I got to Let's see what we got here so what that's two brood there's a third brood plane I'm gonna speed this up hmm. so I'm trying to speed this up I don't know why they have these trenches. The other frame had this trench in it too. <laughs> uh, brood, lots of cap. Yeah. It'd be a frame like this that I would take a sample for mic check. There's a drone. Alright. Really? Right here. Yeah. Hi, Bella. I petted him. I petted the drone. My nose is running from the smoker. Some drone cells there. Yeah. Won't be long. And end of March, early April. It's really really keep watch. Right now. every two weeks for inspections right now but as we get further along to manage swarming until we do the splits we may end up bumping up to every week all right what do we got here i can't see in these cells it's so dark i thought i just heard queen piping definitely been a brood frame it's, uh, in its in cycle Ooh, queen cups in the bottom let's see I see cups but not seen any empty. yeah they're both empty actually what's this 
Yep, that's what that is. But this one right here looks kind of shiny down in it. I can't tell. Which one? This one. Nope, it's empty. And I'll just fix that where I just pull it open. Like when they want to build a queen cup, yeah. you can tear it down every time you're in it. Mm -hmm. And they'll just, re I learned that the hard way last year. They'll just keep rebuilding it. This box is fuller than the bottom box. Mm -hmm. Which kind of makes sense. It's in the middle. Looks like the other one's not not as full, but they are spilling out over the top a little. Buzzing away down in there. plenty of places to run and hide so definitely not an issue that I haven't seen her with this many bees it's also hard to spot her just because oh there's a young drone so another brood frame So that means we've got one, two, three, four, four or five. Let me check here in a minute. Everybody go back to work. Go back to work and quit staring at me. box to go. And one more box. have a brood frame I see eggs I see I see emerging drones hi fella you come on out now this is another brood frame it's got 
eggs, so honey very well could be on here. Just trying to scan for her. There's nothing at the bottom. So another brood frame. I knew you were going to get angry. I saw, saw it in your eyes. pollen it's almost pollen side to side pollen this is brood too so this is a brood frame and food food brood and pollen that's pretty much all this is is pollen with some brood in the center and pollen with brood and eggs in the center honey flower or honey I mean Queen honey is definitely Hitting every single space she can and keeping the hive well populated. This next frame looks like it's going to be a honey frame, which is what it should be. I think Sasquatch Beekeeper may be on his way back. Hopefully. Because I'm going to need him. This should just be a honey frame. See any eggs down in that one? Not this side. Oh, pollen and honey. Yep, totally a food frame. It's what it should be. Which is why it's got drones walking all over it. equipment just got here. Happy dance. Happy dance. There should be four cases. Did you just drop off four? Did he just drop it off? I'm so happy. I will be opening the equipment. Which way doesn't matter, it's just a honey frame. Sorry, gals. Go down in. You go down in, then you're out of the way for me to push this down in. Better for all of us. Better for all of us.
soon as Sasquatch Beekeeper gets over here, we'll raise the box or put the next box on. All right, last box. They're a little feisty. We've got Down. You've been away from everybody for too long. They're feisty. Mm. So they've been away from everybody too long and they've gotten feisty. Mm. See what we got in this box. We didn't.